All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're talking about Discord server security and how you make sure that all of your security and moderation settings are up to snuff before people get on and start using it. And the simple answer is, there's two main things that you can do. A, the first thing is go to your moderation tab inside of your Discord server settings. And there's two settings in here that we can use to make it so that our time using Discord is a little bit nicer. The first thing is you can set the requirements for people that just joined your server must get through before they can start posting and spamming in your channels. The first thing is you can set it to none, which is unrestricted. There's no requirements. People can just jump in, spam a bunch and nothing will happen. You can go to low. They must have a verified email attached to the Discord account. This tends to prevent people from instantly making multiple accounts from the same email. You can go to medium. Must also be registered on Discord for longer than five minutes. So this account can't have just been made two seconds ago and then be used to spam your server. The account has to have been around for a little while. Recently, I've had to enable this one on my server. Must also be a member of this server for longer than 10 minutes before they can start posting or doing anything else. Or this final one, which is the ultimate one that they offer you, is must have a verified phone on their Discord account. I don't know that even I have that set up, so I'm definitely not going to turn that on just yet. Down here we have explicit content filter. This will automatically scan for issues that are like, you know, is someone trying to post porn, something that's uh, against the law, stuff like that. These will try to sanitize some of the content and links that people post, but uh, you don't really have to worry about this for the most part, unless people are trying to use your server specifically for that, and you can't seem to ban them fast enough, or you just don't have a chance to moderate a lot. So that's pretty much it for the general purpose moderation. If you need additional moderation tools, you can download bots. Well, not really download, but invite bots into your server with the admin permission that will do some other additional functions like block people from using swear words or block people from posting links in specific channels, except for this role, keeping a log of all the things people do and delete so that if somebody posted some racial slurs and then deleted them later, you can still figure out who did it. All that sort of stuff can be offered through bots. Uh, the other thing I might recommend is be careful with all the people that you give the administrator permission to. This can basically do just about everything on the server, except for doing any harassment towards the server owner, who has even more permissions than the administrator. But be careful who you give this to, because this can be easily abused to kick and ban people and delete messages. And that's basically it. I hope you found this Discord moderation and admin security settings tutorial helpful. Until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye!